so for me personally uh, i was very good at studies when i was young uh, and uh, most of my friends who were studying with me we did scholarship together in fourth uh, then we gave homi bhava examination then we i did uh, bts nts all these examinations so i was going towards the path of iit actually uh, but uh, you can say chess sort of saved me uh, uh so i i took commerce after 10th and uh, i did my ca and uh, but it was just for uh, you know i i just wanted to do something educationally so i did ca but my main passion was chess and i kept playing chess uh, throughout and i'm still playing so overall i have done a lot of things in chess basically but major part of my life went as a player and then now as a chess journalist and now as a chess entrepreneur so let's first get going with uh, something that i have prepared i pre i i think you might be knowing both the players uh, over here yeah uh bhakti kulkarni and padmini raut well, white is uh, national challengers champion while black is uh, national premier champion just two days ago so this is like fresh from the oven uh, you won't find this anywhere else mm. i'm just going to take you to the critical position it was the grunfeld defense okay let me just and we have this position on the board yeah i'll i'll just make two more moves rook b1 b6 the question that i want to ask here is what do you think who is better and why how many of you have seen this game before you have seen this game okay so you think black is better but you don't know why okay anyone else who would like to give this a shot a very interesting position actually a uh, lot of imbalances white has a bishop black has a knight white has a passed pawn Yes actually this is a very nice things revolving around this game so i would like to discuss that but first i want to know what is your thought sorry equal chances for both sides okay anyone else yeah you can try basically there is no harm in being wrong I think this is more than a session from my end I would like it to be interactive because tomorrow you are the ones who are playing a game so I think more you try to gain out of this the better it is five more games for you guys Yeah anyone Yes Yeah Yeah Okay very good that's very nice what's your name Krish Krish says some very interesting points he first of all mentions that uh these are doubled pawns here and getting the knight to d6 is actually black's dream you know if as as we all know knights are the best blockaders so if you can get the knight to d6 that would be amazing so do you think black is better equal plus okay slightly better for black so someone else who wants to give this a try yes
okay very nice he says a pawn will be isolated and f pawns are doubled okay so all all everyone kind of favoring black also d but you have to see d5 is a passed pawn that to protected passed pawn it should mean something right anyone who thinks white is better no one yeah so the entire hall is filled with people who think black is better <coughs> yeah equal equal or black is better no one thinks white is better no come on this is very important yeah because what you will tell me is what i will try to explain so if uh, your understanding is white is better then maybe you should tell me that should not be under the impression that everyone here thinks black is uh, the one who is pressing white has got some chances on the king side with h4 h5 perhaps yes h4 can be met with h5 so if white starts to attack with h4 you can very well imagine h5 coming in and uh, stopping it yeah also so so you know this also a plan that you can push the pawn to d6 and get your bishop to c4 so white has his chances now i'll tell you what i thought about this position in general when i was looking at this game live and padmini and bhakti were playing like 10 meters away from me because i was covering that event i thought that black has to be better okay mainly because as you all said with pawn weaknesses f pawn weakness knight will come to d6 also one more factor which i considered and you know this i didn't think about it it comes naturally when you play a lot of chess you start feeling nervous about your king's position okay and that's what i started to feel about the king on e1 uh, it's just natural okay it's not like you think about it of course at the start you have to think but after a point you start feeling that the king on e1 doesn't have a good place of course you're not going to castle king side if you play h4 or something like this also i don't really see a good square for the bishop on f1 he said d6 and bishop c4 so bhakti did play d6 over here but so overall i understood that black has to be better okay i will get say even though the knight getting to d6 may take time i can get it by maneuvering let's say knight d7 f6 e8 d6 it takes four moves but still i i can very well imagine that white not doing much and i can get this once the knight comes there it's going to be very dangerous for for white so imagine my surprise that when i switched on the computer it says plus minus okay it says something like plus equal 0.65 or 0.7 which comes roughly you know uh, how many of you know computer terminology in chess like engine evaluations most of you know it yes if it's 0.75 or more it's plus minus lower than that it's nearly plus equal so i was very surprised and you know i kind of started making moves over here so i said to myself uh, bhakti did play d6 and this is not a great move because padmini played queen f6 here and after bishop e2 came rook d8 and black was suddenly pressurizing the d6 pawn she had to go rook d1 and this is not good yeah rook was okay on b1 you have to move it again so the computer suggests the move h4 okay and as we discussed h4 doesn't look so dangerous so i first made the move queen f6 very natural attacking the pawn on f3 now computer is not going to suggest you the right move it will give you options you have to choose and i found this very interesting move king e2 
defending the pawn on f3 although the king looks very weak uh, but you cannot get to it so easily now black should try to get his knight to d6 okay so knight a6 i considered uh, as a good move because i'm going to get my knight from c7 e8 to d6 so h5 now of course if you go h5 here i thought this is what black would play and this is what we discussed h4 should be met with h5 suddenly white has this very powerful move queen g5 and again it looks very surprising i'm just there are many moves yeah but i'm just uh, showing you a variation that after takes all the trumps are with white mainly because let's say you go knight a6 i play king e3 you go knight to c7 i play f4 you can see that it's white who is pushing here he will play his bishop maybe later to c4 or h3 h3 looks like a good square i have my central pawns rolling i can take the f pawn again push my f2 pawn ahead to f4 so you agree yes white is pushing here white should be better yeah okay if he doesn't play h5 and goes knight a6 i go h5 knight c7 queen h6 queen g7 okay these are all uh, good moves for both the sides i come back and black is very close to getting his knight to d6 which is his dream but you go bishop h3 knight d6 hg hg and bd7 okay i put my bishop on c6 over here this guy sorry oops i pressed the wrong button yeah bishop to c6 rook goes to g1 and then i have threats like doubling on the h file at some point maybe i could think of playing f4 at some point while black is to a great extent quite passive because he cannot be thinking of playing a move like f5 because his king is there and i have rooks on h and g file and you know this when this happened and i understood you know i spent around half an hour to 45 minutes with this position and i spent it with my engine uh, you know i i use a lot of engines i have but i was using komodo and you can see that komodo in this position gives 0.6 plus or 0.54 it goes increasing it goes to 0.7 uh, and the initial position which we were looking at over here it also gives as a very tangible edge for white okay it will increase after a point so my point is when i was young and i'm sure you too have heard about it that engines are not good for you yeah don't see the engines and uh, i'm sure you heard it at some point because it stops your natural thinking well the point is engines open your horizons to some extent in this position if i didn't know what the engine was saying i would have never understood how white should be playing you know bringing this bishop to c6 getting the rook to g1 so this is what even vishwanathan anand says in lot of his interviews that modern turns uh, new ways of playing chess you learn something new but it is very important first of all to put your mind to thought this is the big difference if you are not going to do that like if i didn't think for myself what white should be doing here or what black should be doing i would have never learned what was the actual assessment of the position so this is a uh, one thing which i i wanted to share about how technology has uh, impacted chess the way we think for i guess all of you also because you thought black was better did learn something because it's very easy to think statically which is i'll get my knight to d6 i will 
uh, I have better pawn structure but to think dynamically is not so easy that my bishop could get better I can play h4 h5 it's a little difficult to do that by the way all these assessments of computers could just go for a toss uh, if, if you read if you read what happened uh, day before yesterday uh, alpha alpha go zero so it might very much be possible that what Komodo 11 right now says is just complete nonsense and alpha go says that uh, uh, this is just better for black but at least I don't think it is going to be so drastic this position I feel white is better okay now 